Hi folks, this is H2S1 here to share with you a movie. Not an ordinary movie, but it's from the movie from the guys who made the 40 year old version and knocked up. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. This movie is very, very, very forgettable. With very dislikable characters. The only nudity you see is this guy. You kind of want to see her nudity, which could be a fake as you see it on the, hanging on a bathroom wall. And you hope to see Christian Bell of Veronica Mars, Heroes, and the buff. You don't even get to see that. You get to see her in a pink bikini, which kind of is a cock tease. Jonah Hill is in it, and he's not funny. And not even moderately entertaining. And the lead actor, Jason Siegel, is a lot like a bad version of Seth Rogen. He wrote the film, and you can see he wrote it for himself, but it's one of them things you're going, this doesn't do anything. The first 20 minutes is him finding out 10 minutes he's getting, he breaks up with her. The next uh, 20 to 30 minutes to 45 minutes of the film is, <laughs> and then he meets the seven, uh, the one who does the voice for Meg in The Family Guy, as well as she was in That 70s So uh, Mila, uh, what's her name? Uh, Mila Kunis. And the only nudity you get to see is probably a photoshopped up fake of her, which is on the wall of a bathroom, which would have made Mr. Skin feel bad. And basically, overall the movie's blah. If you're going to see a movie by by Apata, watch Don't Mess With The Zohan. Yeah, that's kind of racist, but it's a good film. It's a film people probably didn't know Apata had worked on. Instead, they put his name attached to this one with his other two films, and it's produced by the people who do most of, mostly Bar Gary, uh, Adam Sandler stuff anyways. So why doesn't Adam Sandler and... Uh, Apatow production just get together and say, hey, we're just one unit. We're really happy uh, Madison. But let's go back to the opening scene. The opening scene is you have her come up and she goes, I'm dumping you. And then you have the lead guy go, what? I'm being dumped? And then it cuts to this. Yes, I'm dumping you right now. And then it goes to for about 10 minutes we get this full frontal nudity. We can't show it here because this is for kids. But this guy's like, it's like he just did it just so he goes, go show his floor and how big it is. It's like, just because he goes blah, 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 blah. And he could do this. He can move it in. And it's like, we saw that in kids. It's not funny. And it's like you're going, dude, this is a movie, not the first nine minutes watching your slong, which is like, a mini Miss Snuffleupagus. Well, it's kind of funny. The movie ends with Jason Siegel's character writing Dracula the Musical with puppets. You know? So, we'll end this exciting piece with a puppet. Give him a girlfriend.